Friends, I'm David Bush. I'm the Presbytery Minister for the Presbytery of South Morton of the Uniting Church. I bring you greetings from the wider family of the Uniting Church, of which new life is a very cherished and precious part. Friends, today, as you know, we mark the conclusion of Stu's uh, placement and Stu and Sue's ministry. I want to remind you, for those of you who were here 15 years ago when Stu was called, Stu was called because of a sense of anointing on his life. You have been part of the confirmation and building of that anointing in the ministry you have shared with Stu over these 15 years. That anointing is confirmed by the new call that Stu has, has received and been obedient to. As we have heard Stu's anointing in proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ, so it is that you share that anointing with him. What we do here is to mark the passing of a leader among you. But remember, you are the anointed people of Christ, anointed with the cross of Christ and living as the Easter people beyond all the transitions and into all the uncertainties of life together. So we celebrate here the passing of a ministry among you but I would want to remind each and every one of you, this is not about Stu and Sue. Hear for yourselves what is God's call to ministry for you. How will you carry and live out the anointing of God's Spirit on your life that you might proclaim the gospel in word and deed? But we will move to the formal conclusion of your placement, Stu. Friends, since the church lives by the power of the word, it is assured that God has never failed to provide a witness to that word. In every age, God has chosen ministers to proclaim the word of God and to lead people into a life of service. In January 2006, the Reverend Stu Cameron began as minister in placement at what was then Surface Paradise for Abena Uniting Church. Under Stu's leadership and supported by Sue and with her own ministry leadership, the congregation took on a new mission direction, a new identity, new life, and charted a course for growth and development. This service has already acknowledged much of what that journey has yielded through God's calling, equipping and faithfulness. Stu's placement was changed to lead minister, leading a growing and diverse ministry and leadership team of lay and ordained men and women, young and old. Twice, Stu's placement was overwhelmingly endorsed through extensions granted at 10 and 15 years. However, as we know, in this 15th year of Stu's ministry, Stu and Sue have responded in obedience to the call of God and the church to serve at Wesley Mission Sydney as the CEO and superintendent. Friends, you have shared with Stu in the ministry of Christ in this place. Many of you have come here only during Stu's ministry. The time has come to mark the end of Stu's responsibilities in this place and to send Stu and Sue with God's blessing into their next ministry with Wesley Mission in Sydney. And so, brothers and sisters in Christ, you call me to minister among you. To lead you in worship, to preside at the sacraments, to study the scriptures and proclaim the gospel to teach, encourage and inspire you by word and example, to care for you as the people of this gathered community and to serve with you in your witness to the world. Now I must lay down the tasks you committed to me and entrust them to others. Rick Van Drimmel and Chair of the Elders will come forward. So Rick, I hand to you 
representing uh, the elders and church council, this book which represents the first 25 years of new life. Thank you, Bruce Mullen and Liz McNamee. There we go. This is a symbolic gesture that the next chapter, already, already written by God, will contain some new characters. I entrust to God those who are here now and those to come. I ask that you continue to care and advocate for these people and entrust their care to Mike Hands, New Life's next lead minister, hallelujah, who will next occupy this placement. I also hand to you, and this is a bit of an artefact, this printed newsletter, <laughs> symbolising the worship, witness and service of this congregation in which I have shared. I return to you my keys to this church. The season we have shared together in ministry is ending, but the journey of this community of faith at New Life continues. Together we commit New Life to the future to which the Spirit guides you all. Thank you, Stu. David's given me permission to adapt the liturgy a little, so I've added a few lines of my own. Stu and Sue, we thank God for your ministry among us and for our lives together in this congregation and community. We have worked together in common for the sake of the gospel. Together we have studied the scriptures. Together we have broken bread and given thanks. Together we have prayed for each other and the church. Today we say goodbye, and I think I prefer to say see you later, <laughs> to a much-loved teacher, pastor, preacher, and friend. You are and forever will be a brother to me and a lifelong friend and member of the New Life family. Thank you for challenging us to take the risks we have taken to reach people for Christ. Thank you for your dedication and determination to continually proclaim the truth of the gospel. Thank you for leading and loving this community the way you have. We pray that you may continue to exemplify in word and deed the gospel of Jesus Christ as you serve the people of Sydney. We pray God's blessing on you and Sue in this next season. We pray you will be a blessing to the people God is entrusting to you as you seek to serve them in your new ministry. Today marks the finish line of that final lap at New Life. Perhaps one day, maybe 25 years from now, we can sit down together and read the new chapters that tell the New Life history together. Amen. If we have that chance then, I will say again what we all say to you now. Well done, good and faithful servant. So to you, to our family here at New Life, thank you for the confidence that you have placed in our pastoral relationship. You have prayed for me, for us, encouraged me, encouraged us, and been patient with me, especially me. I ask you, I ask you to forgive me for the times when, as your minister, I have failed you, and I mean that with all my heart. Where some words should be on the screen. <laughs> this is for the congregation to say back to Stu. Yeah. May Christ have mercy, no, forgive right. you, and grant you joy and peace. We thank you for your ministry among us and ask you to forgive us when we have failed to live as a community of God's grace. May God, may Christ have mercy, forgive you, and grant you joy and peace. Friends, we say the prayer together. Almighty God, for this ministry and our life together, we give you thanks. You brought us together for a time as a congregation and minister to work for the advancement of your kingdom in this region, for transforming abundant life in Christ shared here, we give you praise. We thank you, Lord, for your never-failing presence with us through these years and for the deeper knowledge of you and of each other which we have received. For the different futures to which you call us now, we look to you in faith and hope. In the name of Christ, amen. I'll give that over to you if you like. There you go. I thank you for your ministry of God's grace 
in this placement and including in that your valuable contribution to the wider work of the Uniting Church through the Presbytery and the Synod. On behalf of the Presbytery of South Morton, I release you from this placement as lead minister and commend you in due course to the oversight and care of the Presbytery of Sydney. Amen. Thank you, brother. It's unusual in this kind of situation when a minister is leaving that we have the new minister to take the placement on present, but in this case we do. And it's really important, we felt, that Stu also give a blessing. It's the Elijah-Elisha moment uh, where Stu gives a blessing to the person who will come and be the new lead minister. I'm going to ask Mike and with Sarah to come forward, please. Stu has written a blessing or wants yeah. to offer a blessing for Michael. Yeah, come in. <laughs> so if I could stretch... If I could stretch the Elijah and Elisha metaphor, if you know your Bible, you know what Elisha accomplished. And that's my hope and expectation. So Michael, be strong and courageous. Be strong and very... <laughs> be strong and very courageous. For the Lord your God is with you. May you have the heart of a missionary. Care more than some think is wise. Risk more than some think is safe. Dream more than some think is practical. Expect more than some think is possible. You are called not to comfort or success, but to obedience. You, Mike, you, Sarah, and all of you as well. Keep your eyes always on Jesus. Your heart always turned to the Father, and your soul bathed in the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Amen. Friends, with Michael and Stu together, we're going to sing the ironic blessing. The words will be on the screen. You might like to hold out your hand as you bless Stu and Sue in their departure, Michael and Sarah, as they take up the mantle. Friends, would you stay standing or if you're not standing, would you stand? Stu will give you his final benediction. The gelati will be in the courtyard. Uh, and Sue and I, we're actually going, not going to stay at the front. We're going to disappear out the back and then miraculously appear in the courtyard. And we'd love to say hello to you. Warning, social distance is a challenge this morning. So new life. This is our prayer for you. We pray that in the unfolding chapters of your story, more people than ever before will meet Jesus as Saviour and Lord, publicly witnessing to their faith through baptism. We pray that more people will become more like Jesus, being transformed into His image, bearing much fruit for the Kingdom. More people, more like Jesus. We pray you will call, equip and send hundreds, thousands of leaders to serve across our nation and our world. We pray you will plant more gospel proclaiming, Jesus loving, justice pursuing, love soaked churches wherever and whenever God leads. We pray you will pray.
Let me say that again. We pray you will pray. Always soaking all you do in the presence of God and the power of the Holy Spirit. We pray you will always preach Jesus and Him crucified and risen. The wisdom and power of God for those who are being saved. We pray you will always be a community, a family of churches through which the homeless find a home. The lonely discover real friends. The addicted are liberated into recovery. And politicians hear the cry of the poor. And the Gold Coast and Brisbane and Coolangatta and our nation and world is seasoned with justice, mercy, grace and most especially love. We hope you'll be known more for your worship, your witness and your service than for any perceived success or significance. We hope you'll be a messy, unrestrained, unconstrained, joy-filled, faith-inspired, Jesus-obsessed, spirit-led people who believe with every fibre of your being that our God is strong and mighty gentle and merciful, loving and gracious, faithful and true, and that in and through Him all things are possible. We hope you continue to leave Holy Spirit fire in your wake and the blessing of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit rest upon you now and always. And all together we say, God bless you. Jalati.